What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got doobie roaches because we are going to be talking about how I clean my self-cleaning roach bin and how I actually um, just take all the frass out of there. And we're also going to be feeding, oh, we're also going to be feeding Kuzan so you can stick around for that. You can see him back there and this roach doesn't want to stick to me. Now for those of you who are tempted to click off this video right now, you can do that but really I'd encourage you to stick around because these guys really aren't that gross or scary. So anyways that's what we're going to be talking about today. We'll go ahead and get started on that and then we will feed Kuzan who looks very interested in this dubia roach right now. Alright so here we have our dubia roach bin. This is what we're going to be cleaning out but first things first because I am going to be touching all the frass and roach poop, I'm going to go ahead and put on some gloves. Ignore the fact that they're bright green, this is just so happened to be what we had lying around. I would have preferred if they were a different color, but you know, they're green. Whatever. Okay, gloves are on. We also have a trash bag for all the frass. So that's our trash bag. And then I also have this other giant bin that I'm going to put the main part of this tub in. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, this is the one that I made DIY. If you want to learn how to make it, I do have that other video on it. We're going to go ahead and just take off the lid. And then how this works is there's actually, I'll try to lift it up without making it fall out, but there's actually a mesh bottom on the bottom of this first bin. You can see it's two bins. And so everything is supposed to fall through into this bottom bin. So what I'm going to do is just shake it up. Now doing this allows for all of the frass to fall through that mesh bottom and into the bottom container. And once I've shaken it a good amount, I'm just going to put it into this separate bin, transferring it carefully so that it doesn't, you know, fall over. So now we've got this bin inside this separate bin. And as you can see here, this is the heat mat that I have been using inside of this second bin in order to transfer heat into the first bin. So I'm also going to go ahead and take this and stick it inside here if it'll reach. I probably should have planned this better. But you know, I never plan anything well, so. Alright, so we're putting this over here. Now you can see all of the frass inside this bin from the past couple of months. Now there are a few bugs and like a little bit of the cleanup crew that has made their way through the mesh into this frass, but I'm not really worried about them because there is still some left inside of this bin. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take my trash bag, stick the end of this into the trash bag, hold it like so, and dump all of that frass into this trash bag. Alright, so now that you see that this bin is empty and this second bin that has all the virtues in it is on this side, what I'm going to do is actually transfer the egg crates out of this into this empty bin. That way I can go to the very bottom of this bin and make sure there's no like leftover food or orange peels. Mostly orange peels because I just leave the orange peels in there. I don't always take them out. So we're going to go ahead and just very carefully take all of my egg cartons and transfer them into this bin without losing any of the roaches. That was surprisingly successful. So now what you can see in here is some of those orange peels that I was talking about as well as some of these like half decomposed, half eaten roach bodies. Things that are too big to fall through the mesh. So what I'm gonna do is take this plastic bag again and using my hands just go in there and take out anything that's not alive. Look at that. That's like a half deceased roach. It's like their crunchy outer shell. Now I will tell you the most interesting thing out of this whole process and keeping a roach bin is that it hasn't smelled like at all since I've started it which is really amazing to me because I've heard a lot of people complain about crickets smelling and all these other things smelling but with these roaches I've had absolutely no issues with anything having any kind of 
foul smell or anything like that. Now with most of the roach stuff out of the bottom of this second bin, you can see that it's relatively clean. I'm going to go ahead and transfer the rest of these roaches back to this bin that has the mesh bottom. Very carefully, of course. And now with all of the roaches transferred back to this bin, I'm going to go ahead and nestle it into the second bin. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this heater that I had and place it back into the same position that it was. And now put this lid back on. Take my gloves off. Throw these in the trash. So now there is all of our trash from the doobie roaches. We're going to go ahead and throw that away in a second. But first... I think maybe Kuzon would like some food. That's probably why you stayed for this video. So we're gonna go ahead and feed Kuzon. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pick out some doobie roaches and see if Kuzon wants to eat. He was out roaming earlier. He went back to hide probably because he got either scared or annoyed, but we'll go ahead and see if he'll eat. You also might notice that his light is on, but that's because it is on during the day. Sometimes I feed him when the light's on, sometimes I don't. I try to make it so that he will not be skittish either way. This light is only on for about eight hours a day though, so I think he'll be fine. So now you can see all these dubia roaches that I'm about to feed to Kuzon. He is sticking his head out and looks pretty excited about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you over and we can watch Kuzon eat. So we have about seven roaches here that we're gonna go ahead and feed to Kuzon, who has since disappeared. We're gonna go ahead and offer these to him and see what he does. There's roach number one. That was pretty good. Usually he doesn't strike that well, but that time he actually ended up getting it so i'm very very proud of you let's go for another oh i scared him because i moved too fast sorry bud let's try another one let's move it further out this time oh that's a big one there you go that roach is probably a little bit big for him, but I don't think I'll have a problem getting that all down. I'll give him a second to swallow that one, and then we'll go ahead and try another one. Oh, he missed that time. Oh man, dude, he crawled all over your head. Good job, bud. Oh, you're behind the you're behind the suction cup. We can't see you. Now if you're wondering why I tried to get the roaches upside down before I give them to Kuzan, that's because if you've seen my previous videos, oh, now he got scared again. That is because he, like you saw, often strikes and fails, and if the roach is able to run away, usually he's not able to catch it. So let's go ahead and try a few more. Oh no, that's way too much. Come on, Kuzon. He's got to turn around. He's going to miss this one right here. Nice. Once he gets his leg, usually he's fine, but if he doesn't get it right away, it doesn't always work out for him. He looks extremely satisfied. We've got three roaches left. So we're going to see if he'll eat the rest of these. There you go. Look at that. Why is he looking at my fingers?
No, you dropped it, you idiot. See, and that's what happens. It'll run away and hide. Come on, dude, you missed out. Go get it, go get it. Oh, he's gonna go back there and hide. That's not good. And, oh, what did he do? He probably got some eco-earth in his mouth. All right, well, let me try to grab that roach without him biting me. Oh, it's running away. And that's how it's supposed to be done. So that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Kuzan eat and also me cleaning out my Dubia Roach bin. If you did enjoy it or just found it interesting, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.